Thanks to the late Tony Shea, downtown Las Vegas has seen a lot of development over the past decade, especially when we're talking about East Fremont Street. But motels in that area still sit empty. The properties from the Shea estate are still embroiled in legal entanglements, but parts have been sold. New here at 11 o'clock, A News Now reporter James Schaefer gives us an update on what's happened there since Shea's passing. The motel row on East Fremont still has a nice coat of paint, but it's showing signs of remaining dormant. The few of a nearly 100 properties held by the Tony Shea estate are still entangled in court. Vegas is a great town and definitely has a lot of potential. The former CEO of Zappos purchased the downtown properties, planning to redevelop them with restaurants, cafes, and outdoor entertainment. Shea's estate lawyer saying the estate may sell certain properties or could keep them all. One downtown property sold in February of last year, 215 South 9th Street, indicating that sales are happening, just not the East Fremont Motel properties, which bared so much promise. It has its own piece of um, nostalgia, and it has its own look. And I think a lot of downtown has that. Antonio Nunez, owner of the parlor in downtown Las Vegas, said the area needs better marketing to show all that it has to offer, even after Shea's passing. Most of the people that are going to buy down here, are going to try to retain what is there and just try to make it to where it's a little bit more operable in business. I hope to see more business savvy owners. Nunez saying Shea's impact in downtown still remains. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here, you know. Now, according to a Las Vegas spokesperson, the city's role is to provide financial assistance programs and incentives for businesses in that area, pointing to other downtown successes like the Arts District.